you can add some nice glitches while an impact is being made to simulate force. To do that, we will need to go to the toolbox window here selected at Effects and we will search for Digital. Some options will appear, but keep in mind these first ones are for text. Choose the last one, Fusion Effects, and apply it to the video. Oh no, you cannot do that, because it will apply the effect through the entire video. To fix that, we need to go to the part right before the impact will happen and cut it. I'll increase my timeline here to make the selection easier. Now, I select the razor tool and cut it into the beginning and somewhere later that. Now, we can edit the glitch effect correctly. Keep in mind that you can do this multiple times as well. Let's go for the last one. That's the next effect that we will learn how to do. You can see that it adds some sort of a miniature city. Let's go for it. First, with your video in the timeline, make sure the effects tab here is enabled and let's go click in this open effects option here. Now, we will search for tilt. Click and drag the tilt shift option into the video. All right. Now, we will go to the effects options here and move the focus sweep to change the blur in the image. You can also play with the center X and Y values to see if it gets better, but in general, the focus sweep will do the job. Let's go for the next one. To create the effect of inspection, present also in some Netflix series, it's pretty easy. Let's go again for the effects right here and we will select this time open effects. Let's search for mirror. Click and drag it into the video. Alright, the filter is applied, but we need to do some changes. The first thing we will need to do is actually change the position Y to show a little bit more of the sky and to create a kaleidoscope effect. After you're done, just go to the effects tab, rotate it into minus 90 degrees and position it a little farther from the city on the bottom of the clip. And that's it. Easy, right?